came out of uh, Centennial 501 West 26th. That place that burned down that they rebuilt. Yeah. A couple of frat boys standing in front of the truck. I couldn't see the rest of the truck as I came out of the apartment complex. They were standing there looking at the truck. I thought they were had a problem with the way I parked. Where in fact they were watching their idiot friend that was uh, inside my truck going through the pizza bags. So I flew off the uh, the top of the uh, the landing that I was there and just made a beeline right toward this guy. And his friends saw me and they didn't even tell the guy anything. Turned their back and they just started walking down the street. I flew up right behind this guy. I said, like, boy, you better get out of that truck right now. He turned around, stood up and turned around holding the pizza bag and looked at me and then just dropped it. And right as I get there, I fucking connected with a fist to the mouth. Popped him good. All he could do is grab his mouth, started crying, ran off. Vindication, sweet and just. Well, it's not gonna be there in 30 minutes. Well, how long? It's gonna be 30 more minutes. And it's gonna be a fucking. Why are you being the smart ass? To your customer, buddy. Why are you doing that, motherfucker? I'm gonna Excuse report me. you. What's your name? What's your name? What's my name? Yeah. What does it matter? No, what's your name? You're being a smart ass. No, what's your name? What's my name? It doesn't matter, what does buddy. It doesn't fucking matter. Look, buddy, I'm your fucking customer. You don't fucking smart ass to your customer. Listen. It's almost there. It's not going to be there in 30 minutes. Why don't you fucking say that? Don't be a little bitch. Okay, whatever. Are you done? So is it going to be here anytime soon? Are you going to quit being an ass? I'm, I'm sorry. You just set me off, you buddy. You just called me a bitch. You just set me crazy. You go yeah, it's because you're drunk. I'm not. No one would have told you it was going to be the here. The beauty of this place is you can tell them off, and you're not going to get fired, you know? Because they're schmucks. <laughs> They're basically idiots. They should never have lived to be adults. Can I get the camera around here? See the night in life of a frat guy who's about to do... Are you ready for the fucking picture or what, dude? I guess he's got to learn to let live and let live, man. They're just doing their own thing, whatever that is. And, which is okay until they step inside your... on your toes. Like tonight, I got accosted. I got accosted by the guy's Adobe. One behind me and one in front of me. So when they wouldn't let me goodbye, so I had to push this the other way. I mean, like, what's that about? That's silly. Yeah, there's no need for that. It's wrong. Okay, where am I going now? St. Gabriel's, yeah. And I'm going to another frat house. That's typical. Of course, I got only 50 cents. But you see the wealth. It's not sharing. We uh, taken the last deliveries of the night, had about five deliveries in the truck. Two of them are going to University Towers right around the corner. We call these kids uh, in the dorm so they can go down to the lobby and meet us when we walk in. Well, you know, 310 at night, I've still got deliveries to take. I'm down there waiting on them because they didn't come down. When they do come down, the set of girls that were had their check written out for things not come out. The guy that ordered uh, sits down there and writes his check out. Didn't even have to check right. Guy coming the wrong way down a one-way fucking street. What the fuck? Hey, it's a fucking one-way street. What the fuck? Stupid fucking whore. Anyway. We, uh, so I stand there, as, they, as the kid writes his check out, he writes it out for the exact amount. So I get both the checks and I give them their food and I say, lovely, you uh, both have stiffed me this evening, y'all have a good night. Turned around and walked away. The girls uh, that stiffed me walked to the elevator. The, ki the, guy, the kid that was there turned around and said, fuck you, I would have tipped you. I turned right back around and said, what'd you say to me? And the, the uh, security guard that was there on duty 
grabs his mag light flashlight and comes marching toward me in a defensive posture. He said he was gonna tip you. What's your problem? I just pointed to him and he stopped where he was where he was standing and I shook my head no at him. He just stood there and I turned around and I walked out. I wasn't gonna deal with that shit. Well, uh, before I uh, got back, he had uh, had the opportunity to uh, call the manager and explain to him that I was there in turn banned from University Towers for life. I mean, just a pizza, you know? Just a pizza. Jeez, man, there's a lot more important things in the world than a pizza. I need to get all stressed out over a pizza.